again and welcome to Morning Moments and I'm just going to pick up from where I left off yesterday, uh, at the last Morning Moments that God is a, the Lord is a man of war. We are in a, we are the church in a time of war and if in this time of war, He is building and He's encouraging us to continue to go big and bold in building with Him. Actually, the main point of these next couple of uh, morning moments is to show you how the enemy comes against you and it comes against me to try to distract us, delay us, divert us from actually moving forward big and bold in our building our faith, in our building personally with God, in our relationship, in our building collectively, in the messages and uh, on assignment in, 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 in with God and the things that He's requiring of us right now. I'm going to show you when God's going to pull the wool off of our eyes and we're going to see very clearly how we can continue to stand strong and continue to move forward and big and bold in this abundant overflow that God has got for us right now. So, so this, I'm just going to continue to read what the Lord's been saying to me recently. So the, the Lord began to use this word continue with me. So continue, continue. The Lord assures me that as we continue, as we as a people continue in the things that we have learned and in the things that we know and the things of, of and continue in the messages, He will continue to fulfill His part. But we must not stop and draw back. We must continue. So as we continue in His Word, John 8, 31, as we continue in faith, as we continue to pray, as we continually offer up praise, as we continue in His love, in, for the, in this time of war in the church, the increase will continue and be continual. The momentum of our lives personally and collectively going forward together will be continual. And from his, this is from His side. But he has need of our continuum. That's a beautiful word, English word. He has need of our continuum. The momentum will be continual from his side. So he, so, but he has need of our spiritual continuum so that he can keep, so he can continue from his side. But then he said this to me, this to, in order to continue in a spiritual going ahead, this is going to require an awakeness, a deliberate, decisive, dedicated awakeness, alertness and spiritual activity. A new resolve in us must be born in us now based on our realization of the times and our recognition of the time that we are truly a church in a time of war like never before. Satan and his cohorts work against this spiritual activity and this awakeness and this alertness and this continuum. He works deliberately to stop uh, us continuing. We're going to have a look at that. I'm looking forward to getting into this. He works against us with distraction to distract, to distract, to distract, to discredit, to discredit God, to discredit His Word, to, de to delay, to divide. And so I'm saying this again. We are in a war in our time, in the time of God in order to be continuously, repeatedly, consistently be winning. We are to be continuous and continual. And God and His host work with our continual. They do not work independently of the church. When we stop, then, the, the, then there's a stop on God's side too. So He needs our go forward and our continuum in order for Him to continue because he works with our faith. He works with our praise. He works with our prayers. He works with our faith in His Word. He works with us going forward with these messages in our being obedient to the messages. So the church at this time is at war, but it's at work with the Lord. The church in full recognition of the time, 
continuously. The church receiving instructions continuously. The church obedient, bold and humble continuously. The law of attraction from God's side then will continue. And now we are going to start to look tomorrow and you can start to go there already. The Lord then said to me, see Nehemiah and the people with him see their challenges and then see their resolve, their continuum and see this in context of my church, my local church now at this time. And we're going to pick that up next morning moment and we're going to have a look at that because we're building ourselves up and encouraging ourselves and uplifting ourselves together as the church. See you soon.